Yeah, Ruby Rose being an absolute legend. You see, this being shown a lot of the time, and this is really funny. So I'm assuming Ruby Rose, who most of you would be aware of if you listen to hip-hop, you'd know that she's the former flame of Playboy Carti and amongst other rappers, but, you know, someone on the scene that people have a lot of time for, for her looks and her uh, ability to rap on a beat, yeah? the latter being probably a false assumption, the former probably being the number one thing, but she's obviously... Um, decided to diversify her income stream during you know it's, it's tough times out there people have been people haven't got the ability to tour they can't play in front of live audiences so if you're in that kind of s sphere right in that hip hop sphere what else are you going to do you can't do much right so then you know what you look to only fans oh f the websites come out of nowhere they were originally started up as a place for musicians to uh, share their music to only their fans and then suddenly got co-opted by a horde of sex workers from around the world right just lorry falls of them right um huge ocean tankers full of just you know sex workers and you know yeah <laughs> all those people right they just took over only fans and they've now turned it into its own little ecosystem right where these women are sort of boasting and gloating online that all their simp army have essentially allowed them to buy Ray rolls royce convertibles in this case of suki hannah or they've allowed them to buy homes mansions and houses like um safari and erica mena so Ruby Rose is trying to follow in those luscious footsteps, right? She's trying to show that, hey, I too can get that OnlyFans um, bucks. But somebody exposed her, <laughs> her skullduggery when it comes to it. This is a post from the old uh, Twitter. And the user says the following up on the screen. It says, now this is too funny. Ruby Rose really finessing us, right? And there's a screenshot. The first screenshot is from Ruby Rose's Instagram profile where she's doing a bit of cross platform marketing right um she's obviously pointing out some teaser content on instagram and telling you guys that follow her on there which is probably the place where she has the most followers hey if you swipe up you might be able to see me naked she's got this really suggestive picture with her and her friend and she's sort of like covered their bodies with a rose you know girls love roses and flowers it's very suggestive where it's put it's covering up her breasts and her bumbers and maybe a bit of a jj might be from a friend on the right and you're thinking wow when you see that you're like you know what Huh, Ruby Rose, I've always loved you. I've always thought you were cute. You were the funny laugh. I don't know, whatever you say to these girls online, you're like, I'm going to swipe up and I'm going to enter my debit card. But then imagine to your surprise or to your horror, once you get the notification on your OnlyFans, which I have no idea what it looks like because I'm not one of those people that would ever do such a thing. I'm a bullying in Christian. But if you do get a notification on your OnlyFans that alerts you of the tier that you've unlocked due to your acceptance to willingness, your willingness actually to trade your money for skin, this is what you see on the next screen. <laughs> you see this image? This is the image you see if you got that OnlyFans. She finessed everybody. She covered them up in the rows as if they were completely naked. But in fact, she'd done the best Photoshop job in the world. The best in the world. But then you look at it a bit closely, like, no, the Photoshop job was absolutely garbage. Look what she did to cover up the bra straps. If you zoom in a bit better, she covered them up with just a little bit of, um, a little bit, a, a couple uh, brush strokes on the old um, IG stories, I'm assuming. And a little bit more red here, it looks like. She added a bit more red, maybe. On the rose, yeah, she did, yeah. Look at that, she even coloured in the rose. What a clever girl to cover up a bit of the left breast sisters. But what you actually get is this, just a couple of girls in laundry. And, if, and that's a wild thing too, right, this picture. Because back in the day, right, this would have been very suggested. This would have really turned you on. You would have really, you would have got off on this picture of Ruby Rose and her friend in some... I'd say silk or lace lingerie. It would have sent you scream. It would have sent you in <gasps> into ecstasy, right? You would have been like, "Oh my god!" But we've been so desensitized to seeing scantily clad, attractive women, especially girls that look like this. You know, they're ten a penny. They're everywhere, right? They're sort of like they're growing on trees. It seems like in America, right? Every rapper's trying to pluck them off the little branches. Like, hey, come here, come into my sack. Right, you know, no pun intended, but you know, come into my little straw sack. Let me take you home to my family, right? Or let me leave my family for you. <laughs> yeah, in some cases, but now this is like bottom feeder stuff. Who cares about a couple of girls and some bikinis? No one cares. No care in the world. But it's amazing that she's been able to finish. And I wonder how much that is. The what? How much that costs this person to actually pay for? Because I'd imagine what your lowest tier would be five dollars. Maybe if you're a hot girl, you'd be like, nah, f f that. I'm going straight to a twenty dollar tier. That might be your actual tier. You start off at twenty, and imagine the amount of people you are conning. Because that's what it is, really. Finessing is one word, but essentially you're conning the people, right? 
into paying this fifteen dollars oh my god it's fifteen dollars you paid that is insane but yeah it's amazing to see though as from an outsider it's amazing to see girls being able to hustle or game the system um in this way and it seems like you know i'd assume the, the more attractive you are the better it is for you like everything in life but it's also great to see girls of um different kind of persuasions different tastes right are able to succeed on there too that's cool that's bloody cool but i wonder how many musicians are actually on there people that you know kind of were the first um adopt uh, the early adopters of the app i wonder if they're still on there like hey guys go on youtube now acoustic cover of whatever song that's out at the moment so Phoebe, Phoebe Bridges or Bridges song that I've recently covered you want to check it out like and subscribe and then you've got to compete with this so unfair isn't it so unfair oh anyway 